Um, Career Contact is Contact's annual programme of um, arts and culture for the LGBT community in Greater Manchester. Um, we programme activity in our spaces every month of the year, um, but it culminates in a festival during LGBT History Month in February uh, with the best theatre, music, cabaret, dance, comedy and much, much more. Um, I've worked in um, arts management and uh, marketing communications for about 20 years. Um, I started off running small scale club nights in Glasgow um, and I have moved on since that point um, to working on large scale conference events and arts festivals. Um, I moved to Manchester in 2004 where I worked for Queer Up North for five festivals which was an amazing uh, proving ground um, and experience and in 2008 I moved to Contact um, and I've been working for them ever since. Contact has always been a venue that supported uh, diverse communities and Queer Contact was originally um, the name for Contact's uh, projects with LGBT young people. In 2008, when I joined the organisation, I worked with the then artistic directors, John McGrath and then Bab Israel, to redevelop uh, Queer Contact as a brand to grow it into the annual arts programme that is now to provide um, events throughout the year for the LGBT community. Every year, we programme the best in theatre, comedy, music, cabaret, visual arts, um, you name it, we've got it, basically. Um, it's a really wide programme of activities, so you'll get really large scale events with like, international stars to really small scale, more intimate events with local artists who may just actually be starting out. It might be the first time on the stage. There's been lots of highlights so far. Um, I think last year's transatlantic Vogue battle between the House of Suarez um, from Liverpool and like, the House of Ninja in New York was quite amazing to watch. And the year before, we had a fantastic concert from the Tiger Lilies. But I think my personal highlight every year is actually watching uh, the development of local LGBT young people and artists when they're actually interacting with our visiting uh, performers and they get the chance to actually do workshops and actually develop new work alongside these international stars. People submit uh, work to contact every year for consideration for programming throughout the year. Um, that's for all programming, it's not just simply for career contact. Um, so we get a lot of work submitted to us, as you, you know that I understand. Um, I go and see quite a lot of work. Um, the programme manager and the programming team go and see a lot of work. Our young programming team, Recon, they go and see a lot of work as well. And our artistic director sees as much as they can. Um, so there's quite a wide spectrum of work that um, is pitched to us throughout the year. And then we all sit down, we get together, and then we decide um, what can happen and what spaces across the year, um, but also what would fit within the framework of the festival itself in February. You don't have to be LGBT uh, to be an artist at Career Contact, but um, the work does need to be of relevance to the LGBT community. Um, we've had a number of artists uh, who've been part of the festival and also the wider programming throughout the year that have produced work um, for Career Contact um, that have not necessarily identified as LGBT, but the work has been relevant to the community. The venues in the Gay Village have been fantastically supportive in being able to um, help us promote our activities to the local community. Um, we also have some fantastic um, local media partners uh, from Canal Street, our North West and Gay Deal who help us spread the word out even further. Um, Organisations like Manchester Pride especially have been fantastic supporters of um, the, the work that we're doing at the venue for the last couple of years and I'm really, really pleased to say that Manchester Pride are going to be co-presenting uh, an event with us as part of Queer Contact 2014 and we in turn are going to be part of the Manchester Pride Fringe in, in this year as well. Contact wouldn't be able to um, present uh, work uh, like Queer Contact without the support of many people and organisations. Um, we um, are a charity um, so there's a number of individual donors that we, we have to thank. Um, but Contact itself is uh, co-funded by the Arts Council, uh, by Manchester City Council, AGMA and the University of Manchester. Uh, Queer Contact for 2014, I'm um, really pleased to say, uh, once again, Gadio Canal Street and Out North West Lesbian Gay Foundation will be media partners. Uh, the National Poetry Organisation, Apples and Snakes, will be supporting our spoken word element. Um, as I mentioned, I think, previously, Manchester Pride are going to be supporting an event and Cape Town Foundation are going to be um, supporting an event as well. And we're also really pleased to say that the Granada Foundation are giving us some funding 
towards Career Contact for 2014 as well. Right. Contact's vision is to empower young people through creativity. Um, in order to see how Queer Contact contributes to that, um, I think you actually need to look at it as part of Contact's activities as a whole. Um, our young actors company, CYC, has had many LGBT uh, young people as part of um, its young actors company over the years. Um, we also um, use Queer Contact as a springboard for artists from all of our projects to take part in the festival if their work is, is of relevance. Um, so for example, um, Eggs Collective, who met as part of a young actors company about five years ago. Um, they've went on to become part of several projects um, at Contact, including Queer Contact, and their aesthetic and their artistic vision for their careers it has a lot of similarities to a lot of the artists that were programming as part of Queer Contact. So they've done workshops with, uh, with people like Dickie Bow and Taylor Mack, um, who was a visiting artist at Park Queer Up North a few years ago, um, and they have now went on through working with like, our platforms like Mother's Ruin as part of Queer Contact. They've went on to um, become part of the lineup for big festivals like Latitude and Ducky. Um, Sophie Rowland is another example as well. She's she's an artist that was originally part of like, CYC and she's um, since went on to do a lot of like, kind of like, activity as part of Mother's Ruin. Um, but also she then uh, won her flying solo commission and she's got a solo tour that's, that's going out around the country next year. So there's lots of like, kind of crossover in terms of like, the programming. So when we're actually programming activity at Contact, it's not just simply with a view to one particular series of events, about, it's about actually seeing how that sits within all of the programming and contacts and how that's of relevance to the young people that come into the building. Part of our commitment to um, the support of LGBT young people, we programme events and workshops uh, that tie into our artistic programme throughout the year and we also develop new pieces of th uh, theatre with other organisations um, that touch upon the stories of the LGBT people coming out. And a few weeks ago, um, we had a visiting company with us uh, from the Roundhouse in London, and we were working with them on a new project called Puffball, which is a brand new circus performance that's going to be premiered in London next year. And the show itself has been developed working with um, local LGBT young people throughout the UK. So Manchester and Contact was the hub venue for the North West and um, the Roundhouse were here in residence for a week working with um, four LGBT young people who were telling their stories of coming out and their experiences um, of life so far, um, which will then form the basis for part of the performance in London. Um, we're also hoping to present the, the show at some point in 2014 in Manchester as well. Um, and when we were invited to watch um, a private um, sharing um, of the work at the end of the week, it was quite humbling and inspiring to actually see just what they'd actually come up with. There was lots of visual arts um, elements to it. There was writing, but there was also some amazing um, movement performance. I can't wait to, uh, for audiences to actually see the show next year. Um, Contacts is, uh, is a registered charity. It exists um, to empower young people and to create the, the leaders of tomorrow. Um, so Contacts funded um, look to develop projects for and by young people. Um, so we have young people at the heart of everything we do. Um, so that's from um, leading on projects such as our young programming team and our young marketing team. Um, but we also have look, um, young people as part of our board. Um, they also sit in interview panels. And look, as part of that ethos, Contact also looks to provide um, training and employment opportunities for young people in, like, throughout uh, Greater Manchester and the North West. Uh, Manchester is an amazing uh, cultural hotspot. Um, it has some fantastic um, underground events created by like, teams like Tranarchy and Bollocks and like, Drunken Vogue, all the way through to nights out at the Gay Village and like, large-scale events like uh, Manchester Prize. So Queer Contact bridges the gap between the underground to the mainstream. Um, and provides an opportunity um, for people to experience as wide a variety of voices from the LGBT community. So that would be from um, your underground club, club nights to uh, people who are just starting out performing, um, developing brand new work for the stage, um, to international stars.
2014, we're still actually pulling together at the moment. So um, what I can say um, is um, that we are incredibly pleased to have uh, the Tiger Lilies and Opera North with us uh, for three nights. They're presenting their brand new full scale stage um, show. It's an opera called Lulu, a murder ballad. Um, and that's going to feature the Tiger Lilies with a huge set, um, a bunch of brand new songs and some special guest artists. Um, Mother's Room will be creating another full scale mad attack on the stage as part of um, Who's Got the Max Factor, which in addition to inviting some amazing national um, stars to the stage um, in Manchester, will also provide a platform opportunity for 10 brand new acts to win a headline slot at Mother's Ruin later on in the year. Um, we are also uh, incredibly pleased to say that House Suarez from Liverpool will be uh, creating a Vogue ball for us. Um, so we will be inviting um, everyone to um, join House of Suarez in a series of workshops in January um, if they want to become part of the event in February as part of Career Contact. We will be um, giving them the skills to learn how to vogue and to create costumes for the stage. Um, we also have a number of um, amazing visiting comedians. So we've got um, Craig Hill, um, Susie Raphael and um, Zoe Lyons will be with us as part of Comedy Playgrounds. And we also have a number um, of new um, local artists taking part in, in the, the festival next year, including um, a great event by the local um, LGBT Young Writers Collective, Young Enigma.